everyone, my name is Mike Gannon. I'm Vice President of Operations Services for White Castle, and I'm very excited to introduce you to our newest team member, Flippy at the Fryer. So White Castle is the first to bring Fryer Robotics into the restaurant industry. We partnered with Macy Robotics about three years ago, and now we, as a result of that partnership, we now have Flippy on a rail. So I'll show you kind of how Flippy works here. These here are what we call auto bins. And basically, I will take a pro frozen product from our freezer. I'm going to take cheese sticks to start with. And I put them in the auto bin. There's a camera under here, under each auto bin, that has now recognized the product. Flippy's going to go get basket number three. He's going to come over here and he's going to take those cheese sticks and cook them for us. And basically everything is done through computer vision and computer learning. So Flippy knows what every one of our products looks like, both raw and cooked. He knows the cook time of every item. And here you can see now he's going to come and put it in slot number three. Take the basket so it gets stuck together. And then we'll show you on this UI tablet here. It has a minute and 35 seconds to cook. So now I'm going to have Flippy drop some chicken rings. The chicken rings and french fries, because we sell so many of them, they're going to come from the hopper. So why don't you drop me down here? He grabbed basket number four. He's going to bring it over to the hopper here, and it's going to dispense the chicken rings that I call for. So that's a small basket of chicken rings. So that's roughly three six pieces. And then Flippy always returns to the home position. So this is the home position for Flippy. Why don't I do another item? So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a couple chicken breasts in. So I take the chicken breast, I put them in any of the auto bins, and then immediately here, if we watch this, this tablet here, it's going to register them, right there, register them. But Flippy's not gonna come get them, and let me explain why. That first item we put down, it's all green. He's going to get those. So he's very aware of product cook times for quality purposes, and he understands the tolerance for overcooking an item. The first item I dropped was cheese sticks, and cheese sticks have a zero tolerance for overcooking with no bust. He then dumps them down the slide into our packaging area here. And then I, I basically take them and I move them over and I package them up. So now he, so now he came and got those chicken. He'll return home. And now you'll see he's going to go back now and he has to get that second item because it's done cooking. The chicken he just dropped has two minutes and 29 seconds left on them. Take it over? Okay. Okay, here's the chicken rings he dropped. I got it, sorry. This one? Oh, you got it sealed? And here they are here. What I like to really call out is, look at the product quality. Look at how awesome those chicken rings look. And what we like about Flippy is, we have consistency in cook time. Everything is very consistent, so we always have the same food quality with each and every item by having Flippy cook them. What kind of questions do you have for me around Flippy? Could you explain a little bit about the camera system and these QR type codes? that we see on the fires? Sure, so Flippy has eight cameras. Like I said, there's one above each auto bin. 
there are two here, right, the round one, and then there's three right here, one, two, three. Additionally, there are seven sensors that monitor his movement that are, let me see if I can find a quick to show you. Oh, here. So if you come over here, see that green dot right there? That, that's one of his sensors. Here's another, there's another sensor over here, but that's probably the one that's the most visible. It's the yellow, go over here. Come over here. See that yellow and green? You got it? Gotcha. Yeah. So that, that's one of the sensors there. Okay. But there are seven sensors. Most of the sensors are built up here. But this sensor here that I just showed you is a safety sensor. So if I were to open that and break the barrier, so it would stop automatically. The team member safety is in the whole entirety. So I would have broken that barrier. So here we have 22 seconds left on those chicken rings. And I know it's chicken rings because it's got a little chicken in the center there. So it's a product identification that I'm able to tell. What other questions do you have? Um, tell us a little bit about the, the partnership with the robotics company and how that even came about with White Castle. Because when you think White Castle, you don't exactly think of robotics. But you know what, it's interesting to say that. So White Castle partnered with Music Robotics more than three years ago. And like I said, we were the first to bring robotics to the fryer. And you know, you mentioned that people don't think of robotics as White Castle. White Castle is 101 years young, I have to say, and we're very innovative. We either like to leave the industry or be fast followers. In this case, we were able to leave the industry and bring Flippy to, Flippy to a castle. The first one was in Maryville, Indiana, and we have a total of five now with this one here. And we're looking to expand more by the end of the year in some of the other regions that we operate in. So it's been a great partnership. We've learned from each other, and it's been a good journey. Now, as, as far as allergies go, if, if someone has a fish allergy, for example, could you explain the, the system here and how that works as far sure. as that order would go through? Yeah, so Flippy is trained to understand which, which items can go in which fryers. Great example will be, I'll get the fish in a minute. So our French fries, we always cook them in the first fryer. So Flippy knows the fries go in basket one or two, slot one or two, I should call it. But if we were slammed and we needed more fries, Flippy knows he can go in slot three or four. But that's not his first choice. It's always slot one or two. If a customer said, or any time a customer orders fish, because there's a lot of allergies around fish, Flippy can only cook fish in slots five and six. So if slots five and six were full, and I needed more fish, Flippy will not put them anywhere else. He will wait until a slot is open in five or six. So it's always the end fryer that we cook fish in specifically around allergies. But that holds true at any of our castles, it's not just here. But obviously here, obviously from a robotic standpoint, I'm guaranteed it's gonna go to slot five or six. That's very good, so there's no cross-contamination. People in, who order from the app can be very aware that, that if they come to White Castle, they're not gonna have an allergy issue anyway. I never have. Right. But we know definitely since Flippy is very aware and he can only execute the programs that have been put into him, right. people can be very confident. But the only going to be cooked in slot five or six, yeah, Correct. Wonderful. Yeah, this is this is pretty great. And it's it's very quiet. Yes, so and if I were to take you to the castle, if you look at all these timers down here, where the baskets are going, they're all beeping and going off. And when Flippy's cooking, again, it's all done through memory and um, um, computer vision. So he knows what the product is, he knows the cook time, and he can multitask away. And also, um, was there a bit of customization as far as this model of Flippy goes? Because wasn't it a little wider at one time? Yes, that's a great, so a great question. So this is Flippy 2.0. Fli the original yeah, right. Flippy was a larger okay. unit. The auto bids were a bit different. The hopper was inside of the shield. And it's through all the learning that we've gained from partnering with Mesa Robotics and them partnering with us that said, you know what, the autobins need to be more secure. When we want to fill the hopper, we don't want to have to open the barrier, so the hopper needs to be outside of the barrier. And by the way, space is a premium in a restaurant. 
when it could be slimmer, narrower, or you know, more um, precision. Yeah, there's there's plenty of walk room for people. There shouldn't be any sort of issue. No touching hot things. You know, no. any accidents like that. Like, very slim. Yes. Compact for something of its size, especially with an arm so large executing all of these tasks with a basket. Right. If you notice, when Flippy comes to manage the baskets or get around the barriers, he's very precise in his movements and motions. They're always the same. Flippy also helps us maintain this area as far as cleanliness. Because he has the same motions constantly, we have very limited areas that need additional housekeeping. Very when, good. When it's time to clean up. Very good. Thanks for the information. This Absolutely. is, this is such a great, great addition because you know people in Orlando, as you found out, they love White Castle. We, we are so grateful that they love White Castle. It's been a great opening and we're excited about opening Craven Door tomorrow. Very good. Thank you so much. Thank you.